Hi, welcome back to my channel. And in this uh, video, I'm going to discuss about vulnerability assessment, which is the process of defining, identifying, classifying, and prioritizing vulnerabilities in computer system, applications, and network infrastructure and providing the organization doing the assessment with you know necessary knowledge awareness risk background and to understand the threat to its environment and react appropriately <clears throat> now as the example i'll be showing you the uh, process of uh, installing and configuring the uh, open vas which is the full featured vulnerability scanner scanner its capabilities include unauthenticated testing, authenticated testing, and various high-level and low-level internet and industrial protocols, performance tuning for large-scale scan, and also powerful internal programming language to implement any type of vulnerability test. Okay, so here is my Kali. So I'm running Kali 2020.2. I'll be um, logging on to uh, Kali using Tux Penguin. <clears throat> now, for this uh, uh, video, I'm going to give you an example of how to actually utilize Docker to uh, somehow install the uh, ready-made uh, OpenVAS. Okay, so for that purpose. I'm going to show you my link. So this is actually the open VAS. And then um, I'll be using this um, command to actually uh, grab the open VAS. So here, you just type Docker open VAS or open VAS Docker. You'll get like Atomic Corp open VAS. And to install this, all you need to do is just copy Docker, I mean the command, and make sure that you have the Docker installed. So if you want to uh, test whether it's installed or not, you just type sudo docker. And if it is installed, or see, if it, has, if it is not installed like this, all you need to do is just type sudo apt get install docker.io it's going to take a while <clears throat> and then once the uh, installation is done once you have docker installed it looks like uh, it was blocked so anyway it just put like fix missing okay so once the installation is done next step is to uh, run docker service so i have to wait for a while yeah we're done with that and then run the service by typing sudo docker uh sorry it's supposed to be service docker start you can check the status by typing sudo docker status and notice that I have docker active or running then you can just you know use the command from here which I have copied from here docker pull atomic corp open vas okay this is the easiest way to deploy open vas sudo this yeah, it's going to take a while to download everything. <coughs> so this is the process of downloading the uh, Docker image, ready-made image, okay? Because Docker is utilizing the image. So it's a container, okay? And meanwhile, let's check so I have like, okay, uh, I got this uh, notes from uh, Mike Splain uh, explaining about the process of running Docker. 
so you can run docker using this because I'm running atomic so I'll use atomic so I use this one but if you want to uh, what do you call this um, update your docker uh, I mean update your uh, open vast you can actually follow this uh, like here uh, let me just check uh, the I think somewhere here yeah here so this is how you update the uh, NVTs which is the uh, uh, so-called rules okay so you need to run docker and open it open uh, no the bash so inside the container okay so that you can run this command inside the container so still waiting So after the installation is done or the uh, uh, image has been downloaded and I will actually run the docker with port 443. So I will just copy this and go back to this one. Yeah. So <clears throat> wait for a while. Okay, we're done. And then uh, to verify if your Docker image has been downloaded successfully, just type sudo docker images. Okay, and we got this atomic open vast. And then you can right click and paste the command to run Docker. Just type sudo because I'm running non privileged user. Yeah. And then from there, you just open up Firefox and navigate to uh, localhost. <coughs> okay, so just type HTTPS localhost and click advance and then go down to accept the risk and bingo, you have the uh, uh, Greenbone security assistant just you can log on uh, or try to log in using this admin and admin and then click login and of course of course you can save it yeah so so we are okay and confirm that Greenbone security assistant is running and you can just minimize this and go back and then if you want to you know update the uh, the open vast you can follow this uh, yeah, uh, instruction uh, from uh, my explain GitHub. So you can follow this one. So run Docker and then uh, Docker ex execute, then interactive open, open VAS uh, bash so that you can access the uh, container. Is this one? If you have permission denied, you just type sudo. And once you're inside, you are actually inside a container. And then next is that you can run this Greenbone NVT something. Yeah, a lot of uh, commands. Copy and paste this inside the Docker, inside a container. So we'll take some time to actually update <coughs> uh, these uh, NVT or so-called rules. Now, while it's uh, downloading the uh, updates, you can still go back to your uh, Greenbone Security Assistant. Yeah, you can go to the administration if you want to create a group or something like that, or even if you want to do the scanning. You can start with the, let's say the task and everything. Yeah, so I'm going to cover this uh, and more information about how to actually operate this uh, Greenbone Security Assistant. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, so far open vast is good it's actually uh, you know open source uh, software and you can actually utilize this for you know 
to do the vulnerability assessment okay and still doing yeah i mean still uh, downloading <coughs> okay so now for more information about uh, the step by step you can go to this uh, my explain open vast docker and then we also have this atomic core open vast docker yeah you can also look at the docker hub for this open vast yeah so you just go to the docker hub and type open vast and you'll see, you'll see uh, several options like i mean several a result like my explain open vast c sharp host yeah so all of these are different you know uh, contributor yeah or contributors okay so then you can also go to the open vast uh, website to do uh, to get more information about the demonstration virtual appliance you can even download the virtual appliance for this okay so it's quite simple uh, straightforward and let's just get back to this one perhaps yeah still rebuilding it takes a while you know to rebuild and looks like uh, my uh, green bone is not running because we are actually doing the update so it's gonna take a while yeah so anyway that's a very short uh, video about how to utilize docker uh, image of the open vast that will allow you to you know set up and configure and you know run open vast in a few seconds or perhaps a few minutes all right so that's my short video about open vast related to the open vulnerability assessment uh, scanner and this topic is actually about the vulnerability assessment, which allows you to scan for or identify uh, vulnerabilities on application, system, host, and so on and so forth. All right. So because um, it takes a while to actually download uh, the uh, update. So that's all for now. Uh, see you next time. I'll be discussing other topics as well. Bye-bye.